This time we're gonna take a look at some small projects that require very little DIY experience or tools. If you follow me over on House of Esperanza, you've seen that we put together a new pegboard. This is our brand new paint station here in our garage where we keep all of our supplies and our tools for our DIY projects. You can also find the full tutorial on the blog on how to install a pegboard like this one on a budget and you don't have to use it in your garage for tools. This can go anywhere in your home. It can be a craft station, it can be a kid's art station. You can use it for just about anything. Pegboards are super versatile. So head on over, check it out. Today, I am going to show you a few creative storage solutions for your pegboard. And some of these things you might already have in your home. First up how to upcycle and reuse glass jars by mounting them onto your pegboard and using them to store just about anything you can think of. All you need to get started on this storage solution is of course a glass jar and a gear clamp or a hose clamp. They have different names. You can find them at your hardware store. They're fairly inexpensive. I think this one was under $2. This is a larger three to four inch clamp or you can buy them in bulk, the smaller ones. These are one and a half to three inch clamps here, just depending on the size of the jar you want to mount. And although it's not necessary, a drill will help in this situation just to drive your screw through that metal clamp. You could certainly use a screwdriver. You'll just need a little bit of muscle. I'm going to start by picking out the location on the pegboard of where I want the hose clamp to sit. And I already have these installed on this side, so I'm just going to line them up so they can be symmetrical. Now the key to mounting this so that it's secure is to choose a screw that is long enough to go not only into the pegboard but to the drywall and through the drywall and if you have a stud on the back side even better but these held up pretty good by just using a screw long enough to go through the drywall on the back side it might be a little tricky to get started but once you get it going Hose clamp is up. I like to use the big jar for my big stir sticks for my gallon feet. So that's what's gonna go here. We're gonna slide this up. And then a flathead screwdriver will tighten the clamp. There we go. Let's do another one. I have this small jar that I use for my tiny popsicle sticks, and these are good to stir sample paints, and they're also good in the garden. That's how I mark my seedlings and plants that are going into the garden. So I love having different size wooden sticks on hand for various things at home. And now all my sticks and tiny paint brushes are organized. It took me a couple minutes, cost me a couple of dollars, and you can use glass jars. This is an old pickle jar. You can use cans. You can use just about anything that you have laying around the house. Next up, work gloves, gardening gloves, any sort of glove situation you've got going on. We've got a basket here and they are constantly falling off. I am always losing one, always looking for the other. So let's take care of that problem. For this one, all you need is a giant binder clip, paper clip, bulldog clip clamp thing, various names. 
You can find them in packs or in singles at an office supply store, Target, online. I happen to have this one in the house. You take your gloves, make sure that they're partnered up. Clamp them together. You have your pegboard hook, right? That's it. Now my gloves are together. I'm gonna be able to find them and I'm gonna take care of the rest of the gloves this way for this next storage solution. Safety glasses, they lay around everywhere, just like reading glasses and sunglasses when they get scratched up. So I'm going to take a scrap piece of wood that I had laying in my pile. This is actually a pretty good size, so I don't have to cut it down. And some elastic. And I'm going to create a place that we can hang our safety glasses on and mount it to the pegboard. For this, I'm going to need my drill and a drill bit that is roughly the same size, if not a little larger than the pegboard hook that we're going to mount this piece of wood onto. That way we're not mounting this directly onto the pegboard. With the hooks, you can easily move it around when you need to and take it down if you don't want it anymore. wrap it around and tie a knot on the back so that it was secure. I think I'm going to use my stapler to make sure that it's nice. Wrap it around to the back side as well. Do this for the inside of your home for your sunglasses and reading glasses as well. It's just some elastic and a piece of wood. Ta -da. Here's what it looks like mounted onto the peg hook. And I like that you can just take it off, put it back on, move it around when you need to rearrange things. Take your glasses. Slide them right onto the elastic. And now the glasses have a home. I hope you enjoyed today's pegboard storage solutions. I know they're going to be a game changer for me. You can find me over at House of Esperanza. See you all over there.